Can you get the door or no? Welcome back to our channel. So, I am Jen, and this over here is Jason. He's trying to drive. So, I don't know if he wants to say hi or not. I'm succeeding at driving. <laughs> so, uh, we are currently trying to figure out what we want to eat today. Um, I am keeping my eyes on the road. <laughs> uh... What do you want to eat, honey? I don't know. If we get food out, we can go with like one of three places and that would be Chipotle, the Mexican restaurant, and Simple Greek, which we had last week. Um, not much variety when you want to do keto outside of the home, especially when you're trying to keep it clean. Um, if you don't know my channel, I am a mom of four, a girlfriend, and a five-toe amputee, as well as a recovering diabetic. So if, uh, actually I'm on keto too, but I said that earlier. And if you want to, you know, follow me and... I am going to document my health journey, so I hope to see you around my channel. Also, leave a comment to let me know you are here. Alrighty, what I have here on the table is the stuff to make guacamole, homemade guacamole, and jalapeno poppers in the air fryer. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to grate up four ounces of cheese. You'll need that. I have six jalapenos right here. I'm going to do five, which will make ten halves for the poppers. And then I have an additional one for the guacamole. So you're going to take about four ounces of cream cheese. I know this looks a little funny, but it came from the freezer and we thawed it out and this is what it looks like when you freeze it. It's not that great for spreading on things, but if you're cooking with it, it's just fine. And we're also gonna put some bacon crumbles in there. These are the Costco bacon crumbles. You can also get the same thing at Sam's Club, and they're around similar prices. If you don't have uh, bacon crumbles, you can actually fry up or bake some bacon and chop it up into little tiny pieces. So, okay, I'm going to get this cheese grated. For those of you who like watching cheese get grated, this is for you. I'm not going to show you me doing the whole thing, but I just wanted to show you that I do grate it because if you buy pre-shredded cheese, it does have uh, anti-caking agents in it. And I feel like it tastes a lot better when you buy it whole and grate it yourself. This is four ounces of sharp cheddar. It's half an eight ounce package. And we're going to put this in our cream cheese. Okay, so the cheese is now grated. There we go, four ounces. It looks like it's probably a little bit more than what we'll need. But I have about four ounces of cream cheese. And I think I'm going to get a little experimental. I'm just going to add this to the cream cheese. I'm going to add about yay much. So I'm going to use it all. And I think I'm going to get a little bit experimental and squeeze a lime, a half a lime into this.
think that might give it some added flavor. Now I am just cutting the jalapenos lengthwise, leaving the stem on. And you'll want to keep each half together. Well, not necessarily. You don't have to keep the halves together because these are going in as single halves. But if you're making bacon wrapped jalapeno poppers, you'll want to keep the halves together. And I'm going to DC these now. I'm going to shut the camera off to see them. One thing that's important to note about cutting and deseeding jalapenos is that you'll want to for sure wear gloves because they will make your hands burn. And it is not fun, I know from experience, but a tip that I have if you do have your hands burning from jalapenos is to to rub yellow mustard all over your hands and that seems to take some of the fire out of it <clears throat> okay you'll notice that I have left some of the seeds in there that's okay if you want to leave some seeds that's fine uh, do as you wish. If you want to clean them all out, that's good too. And then I have my sole jalapeno over here that I'm going to use for the guacamole in a little bit. So you're going to want to take and mix up your cream cheese and cheddar cheese mixture. Remember, I squeeze the half of a lime into it. I'm not going to add the bacon just yet because I am going to make a few of these vegetarian. Because my son Peanut is a vegetarian. And then what you do is you just... Add the filling to the jalapeno, like so. And I'm going to make him about three of these without bacon. Okay, then I'm going to grab my bacon, take about a handful, and add it in. Get that all mixed up and incorporated. And then I'm just going to fill the remaining ones. Okay, now I have them filled. So I'm just going to start the air fryer. Let's change the temperature. 370 for 5 minutes. All right, we're going to get those into the basket. Okay, they turned out perfect after seven minutes. It turns out that uh, <laughs> five minutes wasn't quite long enough, so I added another two minutes, and they are wonderful, perfect. They're bubbly, golden brown, sizzling. They are just magical. Okay, we're going to move on to the guacamole. Alrighty, things I will be using for the guacamole are the one jalapeno, I'm going to use two avocados, 
going to cut up half of an onion, a red onion. I'm going to throw the rest of this uh, fresh cut salsa. It's uh, fresh Aldi salsa. I'm going to throw some of that in there just to get it used up. And I'm going to cut up these grape tomatoes. These are not ideal, but I didn't have any bigger tomatoes, so that's what I'm using. And I'm also going to put some of my homemade taco seasoning in there. This is a recipe that I came up with. If you're interested in me showing this, the recipe for this, I'll be more than happy to. Also, we're going to use the other half of the lime that we had left over from making the jalapeno poppers. And I am going to get these vegetables cut up and I'll be right back. All right, I got everything chopped up. It's all on this plate right here. And there was one ingredient I also forgot to mention, which was I don't have fresh cilantro, so I'm going to use these cilantro leaves instead. And I am going to get started getting busy on assembling this guacamole. You're going to want to use a spoon to get the flesh out of the avocado. I would prefer to have three avocados, but since I only have two, we have to make do with what we've got. Yeah, I think it would go a little further if we had three. And I thought I had three, but apparently someone ate one of them, but that's okay. We'll make do with two of them. Let me throw this away. Throw this away. We'll get the last one in there. And then we're just going to add our vegetables, getting as many off the plate as possible. And we're going to add our cilantro. I'm just going to put a dash in. That might have been about a teaspoon, teaspoon and a half. And then we're going to squeeze our lime using half of a lime. Going to add some of this medium salsa for added tomatoes and onions. as well as the taco seasoning. I'm going to add about a tablespoon and a half. And then we're going to smash it all together as best we can with a fork because that's what we have right now. Smash up those avocados real good and nice. And there you have it, fresh guacamole that's homemade. Jason is officially on keto. How do you feel, honey? All right. You're gonna feel all right after you eat these groceries. Yay. What do we have here? First, we have some Mrs. Cubison's Parmesan crisp. Why are you giggling? Are 
then, yeah, let's check the ingredients on these. They have Parmesan, if it wants to focus, they have Parmesan cheese, pasteurized part skim milk, cheese cultures, and sea salt and enzymes. That's not too bad. Then we have Sir Kensington's Ranch Dressing. We chose this one because it does not have soybean oil. It has high oleic sunflower oil instead. Sunflower oil by itself would be a highly processed oil, but since it's high oleic, it is just fine. And then moving right along, we have some Melinda's. This is cayenne habanero wing sauce. He is going to be making some buffalo chicken dip during the week with that. Got some Philadelphia cream cheese, some blue cheese crumbles, and some Faye 5% yogurt. This is really good if you sweeten it with monk fruit, and we like to add berries to it. Got Brandon some plain bagels. And then Jason is going to make some steak during the week with this. This is a thinly sliced New York strip steak. And he's going to use these mushrooms for that. And we also got some pork rinds. Excuse my dirty thumbnail. I just ate Mexican food. Um... These are just pork rinds and salt. They're fried in their own fat. And that's really good ingredients. So this is the stuff we got. This order totaled $33 and change. The most expensive item was the steak. It was $7.20 for a little over a pound. But it was regularly $9.99 a pound, so we did get a good deal on that.